Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Cauldrons of War. And with it, the first snow. The snow. With it, the horror of a wintering in Russia embraces the German soldier. The specter of the great Napoleonic army retreats. The retreat haunts generals and soldiers. With the fall of temperatures, it is the morale of the Wehrmacht that falls even further. Fucking country. General Winter enters the game, and the soldiers' low morale can be read in their letters, asking families to send them ear protectors, socks, and gloves. These letters cause concern amongst the population, who begins to hold the regime responsible for this situation. The cohesion of all non-finished troops minus one. The Panzer Cemetery. General Winter has done more to defeat your Panzer divisions than the best Rus Russian generals. With such negative temperatures, using trucks and tanks for excessive offensive is out of the question. Even with oils and fuels adapted to the cold, the machines break down one after the other. Panzers are sometimes abandoned in the middle of the countryside when it's illusory to hope for refueling or spare parts. With the Russian winters, panzers can no longer get away from the main roads. To prance on the rear of the enemy, you'll have to proceed metho methodically by bombarding your objectives for a long time. Your losses are appalling. Uh, it's in the center and in the north. Ha! <laughs> and another infantry division. Extreme temperatures. Yeah. This ain't looking good. Let's just dig in out here. Yeah, we got the Romansk. We don't need this this area. It's just uh, unnecessary over there. Yeah, okay. I mean, there's like, already no railroad here, so... It still did something, at least, up in the north. I didn't lose anything yet. That's good. It did smack them a little bit, at least. Two armies. Lost some tanks in the third. They lost some infantry, and that's it. Interesting that even though the second army did not get attacked, I think. No, they attacked the third panzer group. These guys are still... In need of that refit. Yeah, they need to get out of there, basically. Nope, that did not do anything. Great. Fifth army, go to the front. Okay. Well. I might as well just progress then. Rostov on the Don is in the hands of the German army, and the wealthy Caucasus, with its natural resources, is threatened. Good, good, okay. And then we get this the Don counteroffensive. Entrenched behind the mighty Don River, the Germans are determined not to back down. The city of Rostov on the Don is the lock which will allow the Red Army to surge towards the Dnieper as soon as it is yielded. But we won't, we won't. And then, indeed, they have the Donets. They're actually dug in along the Donets. I mean, only Rostov is part of the, the Don River itself, of course, and then the rest is the Donets, I guess. So, that's good. 
So you to the south, south, south. Katusha. A new weapon has appeared on the battlefield. Used for the first time in July, its widespread use has begun only recently. The Katusha rocket artillery is capable of causing very heavy damage by saturating a large area with explosions. No centimeter of ground is spared when this terrible weapon strikes. Shelling for Russian units is now more effective. Okay. Freeze there. There's snow everywhere. Now they have some armies. Basically, I need them to dig in, refit, like they need to hold out here, they don't have that much, I don't need to counter attack, but uh, yeah, I can't just do nothing here. So they split second pants, holy moly. Nothing here again. What about here? 52nd Army versus 16th. Let's send these to the Kursk Tula offensive. Okay, yeah. That kills the 26. It's weird that they're still isolated. Let's take a look. Uh, Selva has nothing again. Like. Doesn't happen too much, help too much. What happened in Norway? Another division to the front. Like I said, there's not a lot I can do there. Northwest, nothing. Okay. Mm. So, attack again. That wipes out the fourth. That at least gives them some ammunition. I can't really give them anything else. Let's have them go to the reserve. So next turn I can actually do something there. I don't mind assaulting with these guys as well though. See, that's not too bad and I can give up some of the Finnish forces. Look, look, with the 54th gone, now they have three armies left there, so that's at least okay. What reserves do I have? Not much. Let's take a look here though, in the south. Yeah, I could still send the 11th, but then I would probably send it over here against these two and their grouping. The Smolensk Road. None of them gets to attack. Okay. 
And again, it does absolutely nothing. Next turn, 1st of November. Out here, day... The 169th lost some. They lost some infantry. Besides that, not much happened. Out here. They wiped out the first Finnish core. Yeah, it was a bit to be expected. And they got another. Oh no, they just refitted the 42nd. Okay, so they have three full armies now. And they have extreme temperatures. Okay, but yeah, there's not a lot I can do with that. And apparently the rail line is even destroyed over here. Like, I, I can't refit them because it costs so much in trucks that they're not even doing that well here. Let's dig in for now and then see what happens. <laughs> Nine percent. Okay. They attacked. These mechanized core got wiped out. Okay. That didn't go very well for them. Naturally, I'm not gonna attack like that. That does not help me whatsoever. 16th is hitting hard though. Let's see if I can hit back. None of those guys have anything. You guys do. So, they... Like, how are they still isolated? That's so weird. Ah, okay. So now we see some units. We progressed here. The city of Tula is strongly fortified and contains numerous cannons which are manufactured and repaired on site. The fighting here will be intense and they have the defenders of Tula and the first guards cavalry corps. What do they have on the western front? No additional reserves, just like on the southwestern front. Like this this cannot be right, right? <laughs> this is just, that's weird. I need to withdraw anyway. That's for sure. Hmm. <laughs> Tricky. see what it does. They did lose an artillery and some cohesion. That helps at least. We have a pretty strong group coming in from the south. About here. Like getting supplies this way is just no good. Is there extreme temperatures? There is. So. Let's use this moment to refit them. We lost some tanks, but they lost quite a bit more there. The sixth will then be wiped out very likely. Costed me a lot to, to do that. 
systematic massacres. Behind the German armies, the killings are continuous. Jewish communities are parked in ghettos until an Einsatzgruppe undertakes to kill them en masse. Either to make room by recovering accommodation for party members working for the Reichskommissariat, or because the Jewish community has nothing more to offer after, after being robbed and ransomed. To speed up the executions, large pits are dug by the Tod organization, in front of which the population, including women and children, are to be shot in groups of 12. The methods of the Einsatzgruppen are now well established and can be reproduced from locality to locality. Soon, apart from a few skilled workers, there will be no more Jews in these region. Barbarism plus five. What happens in the East stays in the East. Oh boy. Okay, let's, let's take a look down here first. I keep trying to smash them into the first panzer group, which is well dug in. I would put them in reserve, but I don't have the energy for it. Panzer Tula refitted, and then they even attacked. But they did nothing. They lost a lot. Let's see if that helps a bit. Basically any unit with ammunition. None of them. Reserve. Refit. Go to the front. Attack. At least pins down the cavalry. Can't have too much anymore. In the center. Defense and death. Can't be good. first. They did lose a lot there with the 52nd, which is now in reserve. <sighs> Refitting that is insane. That didn't help a whole lot there. Of course they had to attack the 43rd, which is useless. Can't do another ammunition supply out here. Winter in the sun. In the Mediterranean theater, General Rommel needs help. The Luftflotte 2 will gradually be withdrawn from the Eastern Front to be redeployed to the Mediterranean. This Luftflotte will no doubt be sorely missed, but with more and more hard climactic conditions, air missions will be le less efficient anyway. We'll decrease by one for four weeks. We'll do fine. Few officers dare to admit, but the soldiers are at their end of the, the end of their strength. To continue attacking as we are is only to wear them out more. At the general staff, we remain convinced that willpower can accomplish everything. Requesting a last offensive effort from the troops should prevent a hard-pressed adversary from recovering. Preparing for winter in defensive conditions would only cause us to lose our initiative. Let's attack. General Halder thinks that our soldiers are fighting more against General Winter than against the Russians. A willful effort should allow us to continue our offensive towards the east, despite the lamentations of certain field officers made, pes ma made pessimistic. By the limited vision of this situation, the offensive is maintained. Look, we have only one shot here, which is from this side. Attack, they attack, they attack. 
These guys can't have much anymore. Is there any unit that got ammunition? None of them got ammunition. Reserve. Refit. Go to the front and attack. How powerful is this unit? This cavalry is nuts. Okay. They lost one infantry. In the center, they just did some shelling. Refit. Go to the front. Let's try to blitz. Even that doesn't do a whole lot anymore. None of these guys get ammunition. What about up here? They attack with the 42nd two times. Basically, just cannot break through anymore. Like, there's just nothing at this point, really, that you can do, it seems like. Uh, well. Since there's no rail here. November 22nd. I think the 56 is just going to kill itself this way. Okay, that kills or encircles the defenders of Tula. Uh, that, that's something. The defender's line break down at several points, last being very significant. The defenders of Tula has ceased to exist. Tula has fallen, the advance, toward, advance towards Moscow can resume. I... Okay. Surrounding of Moscow from the south. Beyond the Oka River, there is an area full of bunkers and minefields, which is not very conductive to progress. Nevertheless, the Wehrmacht will have to cross it to isolate Moscow. They have militia dug in as well. This is Army Group Center now. This is no longer the south. Because I have five points. Can I send units to the other area? No. Okay. Well, I guess then... I'm gonna do stuff with these guys, so... Let's start with some ammunition supply. Because why not? I'm not gonna get them into the reserve, but I don't really want to do blitz either. 
Mm. Let's get these in a bit better position. Out here, they wiped out the third finish core. Like, there's just not a whole lot I can do against these things. You cannot get into the reserve, okay? Except uh, a dig in and just hope that uh, not too many of my units die. Okay. 42nd, they got another army. Third foundation. Okay. I surprised they can just do that. I mean, they can be airlifted, but the center. The question is do I want to continue with attack with these or with them? I do have one railroad here as well. Okay, okay. Um, refit. Can't refit again. No, it just pins them down. Let's have at least you in the reserve, and I need another unit in the reserve as well. Battle for Moscow. As the Wehrmacht approaches Moscow, Soviet defensive defense stiffens. General Zhukov himself assumes command of the Soviet forces in this sector and his energetic influence is felt hard. Does that matter? The enemy is out of breath and has no reserves, despite the formidable and deep defenses that surround the city. For us, it is only a battle in pursuit of an already beaten enemy. Cohesion of their Soviet armies, plus two. Western Front Command, plus one. Deep minefields and anti tank ditches slow down panzer units. One last effort. Halte Befehl. The Russian went on the counteroffensive. Okay. Upsetting our forces and provoking a start of a panic. Really? At the headquarters, the time is ripe for settling of accounts, each one passing responsibility to the current situation. Meanwhile, the situation on the ground is deteriorating and a firm decision must be taken. Should we allow the troops to fall back on a more solid line of defense or order them to hold on site at all costs? Hold on. The fear orders. Large movements of recoil cannot be executed. They only lead to loss of weapons and heavy equipment. The troops must be forced to a fanatic defense of their positions. Only this type of combat will give enough time for reinforcements that I order to arrive. Army armies are placed in hedgehog defense where there are Russian counterattacks. Armies are pinned where there are Russian counterattacks. Armies gain one cohesion where there are Russian counterattacks. Okay. Gold of the Rhine. Hitler is ordered to regroup all the men being trained in the Reich and to send them directly to the Eastern Front. This is of absolute priority. <laughs> oh, come on. Two operations are activated, Gold of the Rhine and Val Valkyrie, in order to quickly raise new divisions, if necessary drawing from the special reserves of manpower allocating to the economy of the Reich. The Luftwaffe itself will urgently convert DCA or logistics units into ground combat units. 
These various measures should allow us to set up the 10 new divisions to the front by mid-January. The Infantry Reserves Army Group Center increased by 1 to 3 per turn over a few weeks. The Infantry Reserves of North and South Armor Groups increased from 0 to 1 per turn over a few weeks. Okay, so there will be a Hedgehog Defense here. This is a counteroffensive. Doesn't hold much. Ah, okay, they, they got some progress here because because they smashed these guys. Like, yeah, okay, fine, I guess. That doesn't matter. Ooh, that's really good. Means the 50... F which army is it? 55th army is pretty much down. Shame they got the 4th, though. needs to go into reserve. Okay, destroying the 42nd army like I, I will never reach the sphere but uh, <laughs> look I can still take down as many Soviet armies as I want here or I can try to just defending what about here it's a shame though that I now have no I no longer have any south like uh, it's just Weird, I think. Okay, well, you need to refit. Go to the front. Need to try again. That it's just literally not gonna happen. Like, yeah, like why can't I use? I understand that this is the south now, but now. Let's do breakthrough. <laughs> then at least we'll get Smolensk. Smolensk is in the hands of the German army. Next step, Moscow. Indeed. Okay. Ah, that at least got another one in circle. For the third, that's nice. The Vyasma Road. The Wehrmacht is able to push as far as Moscow along the Smolensk, Smolensk Moshaisk, Moscow Highway. First step, Vyasma. Well, it's not that. And now we have two. Ah, oh, come on. Really? Hmm. Okay. And well, I guess I'm refitting you guys. Uh well, I guess then in the south. That's uh send them to the Don Counter Festival. There's not much I can do with these guys now anyway. It's like yeah. Just in a bunch of guys over here. Next turn, Operation Typhoon. The Soviets are massing on the road to Moscow, so this is where the Wehrmacht will destroy them. And it's time to launch Operation Typhoon to take Moscow before the end of the year. Courage, the enemy is out of breath. Natch Moscow. Most of the logistics and air force are assigned to the center army group. To the final push, for the final push to Moscow, which should finally bring the Red Army to its knees, as if. Aviation of army groups north and south minus two. And for center plus two, if they're <laughs> available aircraft. Less command, that's good. Nine for army group center. Yes, 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 okay. Nani. How though? Counter offensives, okay. Uh, I have seven, I th 
I thought I had nine. That's what it said. It's weird. Well, let's do some infiltration. You are isolated. Well, uh, it looks like it did go pretty well. Regardless, what did they have in this out? The 10th Army, 2nd Foundation. Okay. Let's take a look up here. Oh, they destroyed another one of those cores. That's pretty unfortunate. Still nothing here though. Uh, yeah, so without any rail line, like it just takes too long to, to do anything here. Like, I can give these guys ammunition, try to attack. Okay, now let's get you in reserve. So I guess we got another one surrounded. Refit, refit, defense and that depth. Yep, let's take a look here though. There's no field there. Or no rail line. So I might just as well do refit here too. Which one do I want to refit though? Um, they get to attack. basically just have to really whale it on them here but uh, I, I I have no illusions basically uh, I'm not gonna get Moscow but uh. tired old battle horses as the hope of taking Moscow before the end of the year fades generals and marshals of the Reich exhausted by this campaign with Draw one after the other. Field Marshal von Braukic reports poor health, closely followed by von Bock. It's probably better that way. They weren't up to the task anyway. The Fuhrer plans to take command of the army himself. Leading operations is more or less within everyone's reach. The real task of the High Command is to educate the army in a national, national socialist sense. Hitler will be Commander in Chief. Soldiers of the army in the Waffen SS, the armies of the East, after their victories unequaled in the history of the world, went on a defensive under the effect of a sudden arrival of winter. Their duty is to hold out until spring with the same fanaticism which they showed in the conquest. To this end, I decided today to take myself the command of the army. <laughs> Minus two command, plus two cohesion. Oh, well, well. Okay. Not much happened here. Not much happened here. I'm losing some trucks, but that's about it. 31st did not get out, but I don't like... Fourth Brands group is in bad shape. I can't... That's quite something. Uh, I can't do anything with them anymore. I can't put them like in reserve. I would have to put them all the way to the strategic reserve at that point. Well, let's just start over here. Try to deal with those Soviet forces a bit.
Like those counteroffensives are none too threatening. It would be nice to actually get rid of them, but I'm not getting any ammo. Can't even dig them in. <laughs> they can't even dig in. I can refit you. Go to the front. December 20th. All right, I completely forgot about the north. Oh well. They smashed. They smashed into fourth. Luckily, that didn't do a whole lot. Uh, I almost got rid of the 52nd there. Let's get you into the strategic reserve. And maybe in the strategic reserve. I can't do anything with them. Okay. Um, let's see. You have ammunition. Break through to the sphere. Just take my trucks. I really don't care that much. Okay, the 31st is... Well, come on, it should really be gone here. Thank you. 24th Army left. These guys are doing pretty badly, but... Gee, come on. <laughs> Break them already. Attack. They're still not dead. 24th. Ah, oh, man. 10th Army, 44th. That doesn't matter, though. Uh, they're isolated. I want to get them back. Reverse to front. Doesn't work. Can I get them out? No, they're still isolated. Let's dig in, then. It's not amazing. Panyavagen. Where the trucks are lacking and where the roads are impassable, the Panyavagen remains the only way to convey the supplies, being the last resort of our out-of-breath logistic systems. It's ob obviously illusory to want to totally supply a modern army with only such means. This military campaign was not tender to the fleet of Wehrmacht trucks, which lost an average of 15,000 vehicles per month. One of your army groups suffers from such a shortage of trucks that its operations are compromised. If nothing is done, the Panyavagen will soon be its only recourse. Yeah, I lost all my trucks in our group north. Uh, let's send them to army group north. How many trucks do we get? A lot. Yeah, well, it's the last turn though. What are we gonna do in the last turn? Oh, they just send a couple of army. <laughs> they just send a couple of army. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> well, never mind that last turn, hun. That that's a shame. Um, reserve. I can refit them in at least. Maybe I, I should have paid closer attention to the partisans as well. The thing is that the moment that you click this, you so quickly on one of your units, you really don't take that into account. At least that's basically how I feel. Uh, in such situations, I didn't have infantry to get at them. Can't attack. Let's dig in. Down here. Yeah, nothing happens. They're still isolated. I still cannot get them out. For whatever reason. Like, I do have fuel. Usually they can retreat, but like I, they are not in a cauldron. It's just that, yeah. Uh, it's the last turn. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe we got a bit of fuel. No. I guess we didn't. At this point, I'm just trying to 
to wipe out enemy units, so... They cannot even attack. Why though? You have fuel and ammunition. Oh. Okay. They also can no longer attack. Why not? Oh, the uh, that mission is over. I see. Well, never mind that. It's a minor victory with nine points. Hmm. I guess it's not bad for a first time, and there are definitely things that I would have done different. Now that I've gotten a bit of a hand of this game. Um, right, so what do we get? Baltic Inland Sea. The capture of the Baltic ports and especially of Leningrad, city of the October Revolution, is not only of great symbolic significance. The Baltic fleet is wiped out and the Reich's war supplies are now secure via this sea under our control. The richness of the Ukraine. Ukraine is both the breadbasket of the USSR and an important industrial base. The capture of Kiev and Kharkov is a defeat from which the USSR will have difficulty to recover. Teutonic Riviera. Odessa and Sevastopol have fallen, severely limiting the intervention capabilities of the Black Sea Fleet. The Crimea can no longer serve as a starting base for the Soviet Air Force to bomb the ports and oil fields of Romania. Springboard to the Caucasus. With the takeover of Rostov, our armies are well placed for a campaign in the Caucasus in 1942 and threaten the oil resources of Baku. Who knows? The Turks may join us in this crusade. Road to Murmansk. Murmansk has fallen on the road connecting the city to the rest of the Union has been cut. Allied aid will have to find another or other longer paths to help the Soviets. But the Red Army is still strong. You failed to destroy the Red Army, and because of your incompetence, this war will last another year. The Red Army is only 17 out of 30. So there definitely needs to be a lot more emphasis, indeed, as well on destroying enemy armies. Hmm. Indeed. So we didn't get to the sphere. And... We didn't capture Moscow, so those are the three that we didn't get. We didn't destroy the armies, we didn't get to the Sphere. And we didn't get to Moscow. I think... Yeah, it's definitely possible to get those. Mm. Yeah, there are some things that I think might be interesting to check out, which I might or might not do, I I'll see. It was interesting to play this game, uh, you know, a bit of a, a shorter let's play, but uh, yeah, I, I quite enjoyed it despite the weird stuff that is going on sometimes. Like, it seems that, it, for example, if you know when the Romanian front is going to disappear, like, you're going to lose three points, for example. Taking Leningrad before linking up with in the Sphere Rift, with this at the sphere is also not good you actually want to do it later it seems like because if you do that then these fronts will link together and that's also not good because what happened for example on my part is basically from the german side there were there was just one army in my way towards the sphere um but because the Finns got to proceed after taking Leningrad that became one big front and I suddenly was confronted with four additional armies and I think I would have been able to link up for example had I not taken Leningrad first but after joining up with the Finns simply because the way that this game is designed that gives you an edge and the same applies I suppose to for example Romania um, where there, you know, there is also some things going on. It, it's all, there, there are a lot of technical things that can give you an ed the, the edge that you need. But uh, yeah, it will be interesting to see how that develops uh, later on. We'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll make a video about it. Maybe I won't. 
Um, either way, thanks for watching this LP. I do hope you enjoyed this uh, blind run of this campaign, or this game at least. Um, I had fun playing it, so that was, that was cool. Uh, I don't know how many points you need for a major victory. Maybe 10, or maybe all of them. <laughs> Who knows? Um, I haven't seen anybody do it yet though. Like there, there are a few people, like I've seen um, the historical gamer post some of this and there's some other people as well, but they seem to get really wrecked. Uh, so I don't know, they, they don't perform all that well, uh, unfortunately. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time. Bye-bye.